Good morning, sunshines. Yowzers. What do you think about those lines that I have everywhere? I just went and fixed that. How are you guys? Happy day. Whatever day it is that you're watching this, I'm going to shut those. I can't handle it. It's too much. It's too much this morning. Um, hopefully you guys watched my video yesterday. It was so good. We learned so much about ourselves. Do you guys remember that yesterday? Morning, Robert. What's going on? Uh, welcome to your miracle morning together. I was really going to look up which day we are. I'm going to say we're on day 30. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to keep rolling this out. Morning, Jose. Good morning, sunshine. As you jump on, drop your good morning sunshine in. We're going to practice our miracle morning together today. And then we're going to get into like just a little bit of a subject that can help you with your reading portion. So as we're going through our miracle morning each and every morning, morning, Angie, how are you? Um, as we go through it each day, we talk about our silence, our affirmations and gratitude, our visualization, our exercise, our reading and our scribing. Our savers is what we've gotten through over the last 30, like 30 days. Morning, uh, Danielle or Doug or both. I'm not sure. How cool is that? Uh, the reading portion, if you haven't started picking up podcasts, YouTube videos, um, a book, an audible, then this might be the portion where you're just pulling in some sort of, um, I don't know, do you guys want me to call it personal development, professional development, self-improvement, people hate that word, like, oh God, why would I want to get better? Like, yuck, who wants to be better, right? All of us do. Good morning, Michelle. How are you doing? So um, that's kind of what I try to bring to you. Sometimes will be just something that I'm doing in my personal development or in my reading at the time. And um, to start off, what we do is we share our, look at, I'm braceless for a minute. I'm letting my arm breathe. Doesn't it look so good? It's so skinny, I'm ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm gonna start off with our affirmations and our gratitudes, of course. So um, today, you guys, I'm super thankful for, and I, I God, I'm thankful for the people in my life all the time. But I'm thankful for my upline uh, in my Herbalife business who's moving out here part-time from Prague. It's going to be super cool to have another association that's close in my life uh, to build business with together and um, just to have more energy and leadership in the area. I'm very um, thankful for that, very excited for it. And I'm also thankful for, I actually drink coffee. I drink tea too, guys, but like I just had a delicious cup of coffee and conversation with my mom this morning. Morning, Andrew. What's going on, buddy? It was just awesome. So those are some of my gratefuls. Guys, when you jump on here, you want to share gratitude. Maybe you're not ready to like type it and share it yet. I don't know why. Remember yesterday when we talked about who the hell cares what everybody else thinks, like stop worrying so much about it and just get over it and just be ridiculous a little bit. I could do a full thing on being ridiculous. Let's do that too. But um, share something that you're grateful right now for um, in your comment. Do your good morning sunshine because when you express that emotionally, we start to adapt. We start to change. It can set your day up more powerfully. I say that every day, but I want to make sure you guys understand that, that if you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, like why is there a wrong side of the bed anyways? Like just choose that any side is the right side, right? And you can change your attitude, change where you start your day off. So that's the first thing um, for your affirmations. It could be um, anything that you are stepping into, anything that you are. You can do both, you guys. You don't just have to pick stuff that you are not yet that you're trying to become. It could be, um, I am full of energy because God, I am, right? It could be um, like things that are about to happen that are just starting to happen. And it could be things that are down the road. Like I am financially independent. I am free to travel the world. I am um, completely happy with every relationship in my life. It can be those types of things too. I am healthy. I'm going to throw that one out there right now. So give me some of your IMs and then silence, visualization, and exercise. Yesterday we shared our exercise. So uh, health, husband, kids, and parents. I love that family, right? Health and family, man, if you can have those two things nailed, you are really doing good with life, right? Because um, it's not always the way it is, is it? Morning, Danielle. How are you? I miss you. We should have a conversation. It's been a while, right? So... Uh, the visual yesterday we expressed our exercise. So we shared what we were doing for our exercise portion to get our endorphins up today. What I would love is if in addition to your gratitude, and your IMs, if you share something from your visualization or your meditation or your, um, like your, I'm sorry, no, your visualization for like what, what's one of your dreams that you have for yourself? What's one of the things that you see in the future? Morning, Melissa. Morning, Nikki. How are you guys? I'm getting back on track for the 805 ish, right? You guys see that Nikki? I'm doing good. So that's what we're sharing today. That kicks off our miracle morning routine. And then we're going to go into just a little bit about belief today uh, and a conversation. I, it, it's, it's all over everything that I do, you guys. It, it was in my reading and listening. I say reading. It's listening for me. Like pretty much 
all the time because I drive so much that listening just makes more sense. And I also listen when I get ready in the morning so I can absorb some things. I listen until I can't like retain anymore. I stop and I just listen up, listen upon that and practice that during the day. Today, this message comes along a lot, but um, you guys saw the quote there, which I can't write on there. I'm not gonna remember it because I still don't have short term memory, but it's gonna come back someday, guys. What's up, Rodney? How's it going? Um, that we like it's 100% true that what we like what we believe is 100% what we believe something like that you guys read the quote you're watching the video you know I could pull it up on here but I'm not going to this is what it means though is that in our lives we create the reality that's there like there's there's just a set of standards there's a set of things that are going on right this very moment for you there's factual things I'm sitting in a chair in my kitchen on my my video my kids are at, like on the bus like there's certain things that are just here right this minute and then what i do is i create a belief system and a story around all of that i create um the why why am i here why am i doing this why am i sitting right here why do i have this are my kids doing okay i could tell i could be telling a story about what's going on with them right now i could be telling a story about what's going on with my husband right now i could be like making all sorts of things up i could have a belief that What's up, Brad? How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um, I could make up a reason like in my head of why did Brad just jump on? Why did Rose just jump on? Are, are enough people watching? Are not enough people watching? Do I care what that means for my ego? I could create so many different things. Like, oh man, I only had 240 people versus 1,000 people watch my video yesterday. I'm going to create a story about that. Like, I'm going to create a belief. Like, there's a belief of I wasn't good enough. I wasn't wearing the right things. I didn't say the right stuff. I didn't have the right energy. It was at the wrong timing. All this different stuff I just can make up in my head completely, but here's the deal. Whatever I create in my mind, whatever I decide to believe is true to me because it's what I believe. And it's so interesting because each one of us, morning Gina, how's it going? Each one of us could have the exact same set of conditions happen in our life, but you're going to create a different response to that based on your beliefs, which is going to 100% push your life in a certain direction. So sometimes you look around and like, why is that person's life like this versus mine is like this? And we might have the same conditions, but it's what we've created out of belief. Morning Naveen, what's going on? There was a story in one of my books or podcasts. I can't remember where anything comes, you guys. So like, why do I even bother trying to tell you? There's a story, but it was a, a set of twins, right? I'm gonna stop chewing gum in front of you guys. That's super rude, right? Sorry about that. Okay, there was a set of twins and they were raised with identical twins. They were raised with um, maybe not as great of conditions as what one would want and their father was an alcoholic. I'm gonna tell it completely wrong so let's just make up part of it. But an alcoholic, maltreatment, mistreatment. I don't think that the, the dad actually survived. I think that he passed away. I don't remember what from. Um, you guys are probably like, Kelly, I know this story. And there's actually probably a lot of this exact same story, right? And what happened from that situation was these two individuals reacted based upon their beliefs and created a new story about the situation. They created a story wrapping around what had happened and one of them went on to basically think I'm not worthy enough, my dad, I, don't, I, I can't tell you what, I, what he thought, but what he took from what he thought and what he believed was um, creating a very similar path to what his father had experienced. Good morning, look at all your good morning sunshines just popping through, I love it. Um, they created a situation that like basically put them into the exact same space that their father had had uh, brought upon them, where the other one took the exact same um, situation, the exact same learnings, but his belief system created a different powerful force where he acted differently upon that and became very successful, financially independent, ran his own business, where this guy's over here, jobless, broke, and an like an alcoholic, just like his father, right? So there's these two people in identical situations that result in different areas because what they decide to believe. So something that I want you guys to, oh, Michelle, I love that visualization because then I get you all the time. Um, so something that I want you guys to just take away from this today is when you look in the mirror and you're practicing your I am's and you're seeing who you are, what are you believing about yourself? What, what are you creating? Because that belief, whatever you're telling yourself deep down, like topically we can start with our, our conscious and we can, we're, we're attempting to change our subconscious by telling ourselves certain things that we want to become, 
right? But what are you seeing and how mean are you being to yourself? Because a lot of people are really freaking mean to themselves. You guys are so mean to yourselves. No, okay, not all of you, but a lot of you guys know if you're listening to this, you're like, God, I really am. Like I look in the mirror and I am just ruthless. Like I am never good enough because I say I'm never good enough because I believe I'm not good enough because of whatever else has happened on in my life. I've chosen to take on the belief that I'm not good enough. I've chosen to take on the belief that I'm not pretty enough, that I'm not smart enough, that I'm not funny enough, that I'm not intelligent enough. And what is that enough for? Like enough for what? Like what's the scale? Is there a scale that somebody's measuring us all about? No, we made that up. Like there is no certain level that we need to be. All we do is we see a person and we decide based on all of these other outside factors that have been put into our lives that there's a belief that we have and then that's what we see in the mirror is are we holding up to the standards. Morning, Trisha. Morning, Lucas. What's going on? So when you're looking at yourself, what, like, what sort of belief system are you creating? What are, you, what are you telling yourself? What story are you making up? Because if you wake up every day and you're a dick to yourself, because a lot of you are, like you look in the mirror and you're just ruthless and mean, how do you walk about life with a positive, great, thankful heart? And, and, like, and this is hard, you guys, to be thankful and loving upon everyone else without being thankful and loving upon yourself is just a facade to me. Like you can't love anything more than you love yourself. I really do believe that. Like you can, you can project, you can pretend, you can fake like you're loving on them. But if you can't love on yourself, then really what energy, what vibrations, what light are you putting out? Morning, Tim. Morning, Missy. What's going on guys? So, um, when you're taking a look at yourself and you're deciding, and remember this, you're deciding upon those beliefs and it is hard work to change this. If you guys feel like you're one of the ones that are doing that, that you wake up and you're being mean to yourself, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, like you're just, you're not with who you are then there's like, this is a beautiful thing. There's the possibility, there's the potential to change that. There's the, there is another door that's ready to be open. But the thing is, is that you have to be willing to do the work to change your personal belief system around who you are. That's what this is. That's what I do all the time. That's what a lot of my books are about. Like you guys, you know, go to the library. There's a million different ways all of this stuff can be stated. But the fact is, is that people have experienced the same thing that you're experiencing where once upon a time, they were really mean to themselves. They didn't have confidence. They weren't going anywhere because they were so in their own way all of the time. Morning, Stephanie. And then something clicked, something switched, and they decided to take action and it's in its action and its work, but they decided they were worth more. Um, and then they had that belief or maybe they didn't even know, but they thought, what if, what if I just started reading a little bit more? What if I just started pulling some of these things in and you start removing all of the crap, all of the, the beliefs that you've put into your brain that are made up and you get rid of all of them so that you can start over and, and create the beliefs that you really want to have and that you really want to envelop. And um, look at yourself and believe that you are everything that you um, that you want to be, and that you could be anything more um, as you keep pursuing your dreams. So, because whatever you believe is 100% what you believe. That's a fact, right? So you are creating your own reality based on how you speak to yourself. What we do with our Miracle Morning together is we start to speak to ourselves a little nicer. We're a little kinder to us. Like when you're doing gratitude, you guys, make sure it's not just all external gratitude. Give gratitude for yourself, for the, the, the vessel that you have to carry yourself around. Like give gratitude for you as well. But we're, we're learning how to be nicer to ourselves. And then we're creating a space by the silence. We're creating um, like a void so that we can fill that with the visualization that comes in. Does that make sense to you? Morning, Heather. How are you? How have things been going? What's been going on? Has anything new happened since last night? Anything? Do you have a new pillow? It's all right, guys. Inside joke. We're great. So when you guys look at this, right, and you have this silence, you create a void, and then you have your affirmations and your visualization, and then over here you have your visualization of what you want. You're able to pull that into the void, the vacuum that's the silence that you've created, right? So the savers are all working together to create a better vision for yourself. So, um, for some of you guys, you're like, God, she just talked in circles. Not even sure for other, the others of you that maybe have like read some of this stuff, you know what I'm talking about a little bit more, but I encourage you just to check yourself. Like if you're being mean to yourself and you're creating that belief, Challenge yourself to start to make some baby steps, to make, make, make some more changes, to join more often where you're looking at changing your, your whole perception, your whole reality, because your perception is your reality, right? And it's different than my reality. Okay, 
That's all I have for you guys. Fancy pants is today. Sorry we didn't do more pee stories in airports, but sometimes you just got to talk about your belief system. And um, make sure that you drop a good morning sunshine if you're a regular, a one if you're new so I can tell you welcome. Thank you for joining us. And then we get on tomorrow morning again around the same time. You guys have been doing a great job of popping on each day. And I don't know what day we're at, but we're going to keep Miracle Morning together for a bit. All right. Goodbye. I love you guys.